See here, I have a, a weasel. Just checking it over there. A little bit of yellow on them, but that's what happens this time of year. This guy was eating in one of my Martin boxes. He kept eating my lure or my bait. So I thought, well, take him out, make it all or two. So what I do is I pin it here on the table and I cut straight across and I cut from the tail up. You gotta be careful right around their, their bum there, they have a gl uh, scent gland. Go right up there and then hold it like this. Go one side, and then the other. And if you're gonna poke something, that's where you're gonna poke it. Usually on that cut. So you got that opened up on the tail and across the legs. I just take my thumb, start working it up inside. It's the exact same idea as a squirrel. Bend the knee, and then I just ride my thumb up there until it pops out the other side. And just give it a twist and then pull it right off. And then I got that one leg freed. Do the same thing on the other side. Or just trying to keep the right camera angle for you, you guys, or the right angle. And that leg, work it up. Put your thumb in there. Bring it to the ankle and pop it off. Go up the tail. And I just hook it in here to my fingers and pull it off. And just kind of tube it like you do everything else. Right until you get to the rib cage. It's a little layer of fat or meat that hangs onto it. Once you get there, it's good to go. Pull it. Get here, pop one leg out, the other, support it, pull it through, support it, pull it through. And then you just pull it the rest of the way until it stops. Then you have an ear here, ear there, and then the next thing you're gonna see is your eyes. Keep your ear holes nice and small. Give it another tug, then you're gonna get to the eye. So what I do here is I kind of support the head, give that a pinch, and that's gonna show me that membrane I gotta cut. And I just cut along the skull, keep all the eyelid and in, uh, together in a nice shape. There's another one. Corner of the mouth. Bottom jaw you don't need so you just free it up a bit. And then you take it off right there. Then all you have left is the front whiskers and the top lip and the nose. Go right to the end. There you go. If you want to keep the glands, they're right here by the, the anus. You stink. Sometimes you poke them by accident. Now when you when you flush them, I used to always just flush them and take a little bit off and, and leave it good. But there's a little bit of a membrane there where it's all red and pink. You want to take that off to fatten the armpit. I never used to clean them that good. And uh, I asked one fur buyer how I can improve things. And he said, well, take that little saddle off. It's not like a mink or a muskrat. You don't need that on. And started taking that off. And Excuse me, just about every auction after that, I'd get uh, a top lot if I sent a few, uh, more than 10 in, I'd get a couple top lots for weasels. 
But basically what I do is I start with the corner of the cheek. There's this usually a little bit of uh, membrane there. Get that off. And then like I said, just below the, the elbow, there's gonna be a fat pocket and then your membrane. And I have my weasel on sideways to the board. And when I'm done, I'll, I'll turn it the other way and I'll show you that. Try not to block your camera view here, but I'm gonna do it a little bit. So I support the leg, take that fat off of here, and then now I just hold the bottom leg tight. And use just I use a tablespoon from the dollar store. That's what I do all my Martin and my weasels with. Squirrels. Clean it off right to the end. So that's one side. It's done. You can do the same thing to the other side. You don't have to go hard. You just got to go just enough that you can kind of swipe that stuff off and get it to come, come through. Just working that saddle off. Right off to the edge. And then now I kind of put it back the way it's supposed to go. On your board, center it all up. Eyes and ears centered, the back centered, so you can see where I went down the sides. I left a little bit of membrane on the back. I just take this and it comes right off. So right down to the ends, pop it off. Same thing on the belly, start up at the base of the ears, work it down between the front legs, along the belly. And they're all gonna have like a little fat sack here, like this This was a boy, and the females have that as well. Just scrape that off and try and get as much of that off as you can without putting a hole in it. Trimmed off his tuba. Keep your board clean. Just pull the front leg or the back legs down on the front side. Even them up a bit. And put a couple pins there to hold the shape. The tail is small enough you don't have to split it. I just center that, put a pin in there. Trim a little bit of the fat off if you have to. The skirt of the hide. Just make it look pretty. Trim the leg off. Clean up the edge, just make that look a bit better. And then here, I don't, I do have, have it, I thought I had it packed away still. For just one sec, I'll grab it. So for the legs, what I have is a, a length of whipper snipper. Uh, Plastic cable, whatever you want to call it. You can do other things. If you don't have that, you can just get a nail and put it through. But I found if I tuck it in, in there and I just pull it through, it'll lay it flat. You can do that to the other leg. The auction houses want the legs in. The old way used to be to cross the legs and, and stuff like that. But if you just tuck them in like that, that'll, that'll dry flat and they'll be happy. Clean the bottom lip off a bit. 
And there's a weasel. I don't bother putting a belly stick in there. I can get them off without without it, so it goes pretty good. That's a weasel. I'll let that dry for a day or two and take it off. And that's money in our pocket. All right.